I wasn't going gamers another day, another video. So here's a problem um, I've been going through on PlayStation 4. This is a problem that's rolling onto PlayStation 5. Everybody out there, you really need to be aware this problem exists. And that is that your PlayStation can manually delete any application off your hard drive at any time for any random reason. You've not been banned from Sony. You've not been banned from any games company or developers or anything like that for whatever games you've got. It's just a random thing where your PlayStation deletes your games. Brilliant feature, Sony. So this has been going on f with PlayStation 4 since the launch of PlayStation 4. You can go on Google, whatever search engine you want, um, search this problem, and you'll find not only has this been going on for that long, yeah, but it happens to that many people, it's ri ridiculous. And it happens that often, there's literally a post every freaking day on one forum or another made about it. And that is, you know, your PlayStation deleting your games. It happened to me. I bought um, Act Blizzard Activision's Call of Duty Modern Warfare, brand new from the PlayStation Store. It's not cheap, 60 quid. And since then, I've bought about 200 quid's worth of COD points in microtransactions, buying operators here and there, buying battle passes, trace packs, this, that, and the other. As soon as my PlayStation deleted Call of Duty, a 170 gig size game from my PlayStation, I stopped buying microtransactions from Activision. I can't hurt Sony because I've already brought the product. Yeah, I already own the Sony product, they've already had my money. So what I end up doing then is I end up tweeting developers, emailing developers of these games that get deleted from my computer, and I, say, I tell them what's going on. And I tell them, and for this reason, I will no longer be buying microtransactions. You can check my um, transaction history in the past. You know I'm a really, really valued customer. I'm always throwing money in there one way or another. And that's going to have to stop, because I don't know when you can, this computer's going to delete your game off my console again. And then I'm going to have to wait another 5-6 hours for the whole 170 gig to download. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I won't be buying Cold War for a freaking long time, because I don't know when my computer's going to delete it. I've been going through this for a while, but what ended up happening today was was the, the cherry on the pie, Sony. And that is that my computer decided to delete Share Factory. Share Factory is something I rely on to make my videos for my channel. It's also I make GIFs and memes and this, that and the other for the interwebs and blah, blah, blah. So <clears throat> my capture length for my videos is set to 60 minutes. The reason why is because I'll do a lot of story videos or you know, I'm playing Warzone, and sometimes you'll have a match that lasts over half an hour. So I, want, I don't want to miss the beginning or anything like that. So I have it saved to 60 minutes. At the moment, I've got 90 gigs worth of capture on my hard drive. Most of it's going to be Warzone. Um, and what I've done is I've made projects where some of them will be five minute long projects. And I've got 30 seconds of clip here, 30 seconds of a clip there, 30 seconds of a clip there. And they're all unfinished projects. They just need a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of je ne sais quoi. And bam, they're out on YouTube. I've got about 12 of them lined up. Every single one of them projects has been deleted. I've still got the hours worth of capture video because that's saved to my PlayStation. But the projects themselves, they're set to, saved to um, Share Factory Studio. And because Share Factory Studio got deleted, every project I've been working on, all gone. All that hard work, all gone. So what do I do now? Scroll through one hour, one clip, which is an hour long to try and find that. And then another clip, which is an hour long. And then another clip, and go through 90 gigs worth of footage just to remake these videos. And then eventually finish them off. Where's my motivation to do that now? Why would I, I've already done it. I've already done it once. Why do I need to do it again? Why is my PlayStation deleting my applications? Why am I going out and buying and spending money on things just to have to go through a, a, state, a state of re-downloading and re-downloading and re-downloading? It doesn't matter when it's like 7 gigs worth of game. Fair enough, if it's a 7 gig game, I get my flipping save data back off the cloud, I'm fine. But when it's 170 goddamn gig, why would I bother? Why would I bother going through that and then going through it with the next product? Games developers, why aren't you getting onto Sony about this problem? Again, like I say, you can Google it. It's all over Reddit. It's all over forums here, there and everywhere that this is a problem that we're going through. And we've been going through it for seven, eight years now. But I don't see anybody acknowledging this is a problem at Sony. I don't see anyone saying, no, this is a problem that's happening. Don't worry, consumers, we are working on it. 
I don't see anything like that at all. It's like it's been swept under the carpet. Oh, try not to let out anybody out there to know this is going on because we've got the PS5 being launched as well. I mean, what was your excuse before all that? It's just fucking ridiculous. It really, really is. So I've got 12 YouTube videos there, basically, that were almost finished, only needed a bit of a polish. They're all gone. Why? Why? Why am I bothering? Seriously. So, that's one of the biggest fucking stupidest issues we're going through now with PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. If you're out there and you're like, you know, you're upset because you didn't pre-order a PS5, here's a bit of relief for you. At least you're not going through this crap with us. Gaming companies out there, listen, at the end of the day, if you're getting an email or you're getting tweets off people and they're telling you, listen, your game's deleting itself off my console, why, why is it happening? Obviously, it's not going to be down to you. You can't do this. Only we can do it in Sony. So why aren't you games companies getting on to Sony about this? Because one way or another, believe it or not, this is going to harm your products. It's going to harm microtransactions. It's going to harm, you know, money one way or another coming in for your products. So you should, these gaming companies, you're thinking of bringing a title out for PlayStation 4, get in touch with them and say, look, this issue we know is a non-issue. Have you resolved this issue? Are you working to resolve this issue? Because we don't want our customers being affected by it. And while this issue is a thing, we're going to have to make our games exclusive to Xbox. It's as simple as that. That's exactly what I'd do. I'd be onto Xbox, look, we don't want to bring our, uh, well, I wouldn't be saying that. I'd be like, onto Xbox, look, if we bring this out as, um, you know, an exclusive game for your, your console, how much are we getting? Yeah? Come to a prize with them, get it sorted out, you know, bring it out as an exclusive. Because if you're bringing games out on the PlayStation, and the PlayStation's manually deleting them games, it's going to really piss off your consumers. Anyway, that's the video. Um, if you've gone through this in the past, which... You know, I'm guessing a majority of you have. What games have been deleted off your hard drive? What have you ended up having to go through in the past over all this? Highlight your problems, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's alright being a fanboy and all that. Like saying, yeah, Sony's the best. I want to kiss your butt. But not when we go through things like this. We shouldn't have to accept it. Do you know what I mean? It's as simple as that. Anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. Don't forget, you can hit that notification bell and that subscribe button. You'll get a notification on YouTube anytime our videos goes live. Again, thanks for watching. And as always, good gaming out there.